Okay, so I did a little rearranging of my schedule. I um, added a new job in the middle here, took out the cafe and put in College Farm because that gives me the same amount of money and I get plus five to my active. So I decided to take one of the active wall climbing things out and put in a pub. And I also noticed that I actually got the stat requirements so far, but as we know, that will change later on. So I think that's all I did. Right. Let's get week 10 started off. Finally time for a new class. I haven't actually met this professor yet, this time around. I hope she's a good one. I've been looking forward to taking this class. And she certainly can't be any weirder than some of my other professors. As the final chime sounds, the professor walks in and steps up to the podium at the front of class. Greetings, all! I'm Professor Merriweather. Welcome to Intro to Anatomy! I'm not one for standing on ceremony, and you're all here to learn, so let's get right to it, shall we? For starters, let's get a couple of you down here for an example. Any volunteers? I'm a little nervous, but I stick my hand in the air. It's always good to get yourself out there as a go-getter student. Okay, you there. Your name? Anne, ma'am. Good, good. Come down here and stand over there. I start heading down the aisle to stand slightly to the left of the teacher. All right, let's see who else we've got. Yes, yes, right there, Anne. Who else? Ah, Butch, please come to the front of the class. A rather small guy with thick glasses approaches the front of the class. I had requested that you use my middle name, Terrence. Please, Professor. Oh, what an um, interesting name. I wouldn't have expected that. The poor thing looks pretty flustered. <laughs> Clearly, he's not happy about the name. This is why I go by my middle name. Nobody ever thinks I'm a butch. Sorry, no nicknames. But moving on. Butch, you stand to my left. <laughs> Butch grumbles but stands to her left. So, anatomy, we've all got it. This is an intro to it. I'm assuming all of you took a high school biology class, yes? I don't have to start with the basics. These are two humans. You've got that? All right, you can never tell what the state of public schools these days. So let's start talking a little bit about the differences between men and women. We're going to get in depth into some of these topics later in the course, but right now it's good to understand which aspects are universal and which aren't. Just from the looking at them, the standard differences are apparent. You can see the young lady here, who was apparently rather lucky in puberty, also sports the larger child-bearing pelvic bone. That's just basic sexual dimorphism. I can't believe she just said that. I'm probably blushing pretty badly, but I managed to stay quiet at least. The professor continues on like that for most of the hour, talking about the differences between the two of us, where evolution likely played a part, what parts are most likely holdovers from our oldest times. It would probably have been a fascinating lecture if I didn't have to be a living doll for her to point out the whole hour. Finally, she gestures for Butch and me to sit down. We head back to our seats as she finishes up her lecture. When the bell rings, everyone files out a little overwhelmed. Oh, Anne! Butch! Come here a moment, would you? Damn, I was almost out, too. Thanks for being my guinea pigs today. It's always nice to have volunteers. Oh, I'm glad to see you stuck to 102, Butch. Yes, well, I need the credits, Professor Merriweather. I hope I can count on you both to volunteer to help me in the future. Yes, Professor Merriweather. Um, well, I'm always happy to help, Professor. Though, I don't know how comfortable I'll be standing in front of your classes. Especially if you're going to be describing me all the time. Oh, no, no. Mostly, I'll probably be using it to demonstrate muscle movements and such. It's so much easier to understand on a live person. I'm sure you'll be fine. Plus, it means you'll get that much closer to the education. You seem sharp. I think you'll pick things up nicely. All right, go on. I'll see you next time. As we leave, Butch gives me a shrug and a long-suffering sigh. <sighs> I know what he means. This is going to be a long quarter. <laughs> Poor Butch. Don't ask about the filet mignon. 
It's fine. All right, I think that's everything off of my reading list for this quarter. Hmm. The Brain for Dummies. Idiot's Guide to Anatomy. And my big book of the body. Ah, <sighs> Professor Merriweather really doesn't think much of us, does she? Oh, well, at least that's all done. Time to head home and get down to reading them, I guess. So then I totally sacked him. I must have sent him flying, like, 40 feet, right? <laughs> then he gets up and he's all, Where's my bed? I think I need a nap. <laughs> oh, wow. Apparently Chad and Isabella are out on the town as well. Ah, I can finally do this scene. I've been wondering what's going on with these guys. I have to admit, I'm not sure what exactly she sees in Judd. Maybe this is a chance to find out? Then again, there's no need to be a stalker. Well, in this case, I think we'll make an exception. Oh, screw it. It's not like I don't have business in town. And I'll admit I'd like to see where this goes. I follow them down the street at a good distance, of course. They continue to talk and laugh. I can't really hear most of their conversation, I'm too far back. It's probably just more about football and that sort of thing. She really dolled herself up for this date. Finally, the two of them turn into one of the restaurants here on the main avenue. It's nothing too fancy, just a little Thai place with outdoor seating. I stand down the street a little ways, wondering if I should keep following them this far. I might be straining my credibility a bit if I follow them that far. Oh, Sally! So, is this a private spot, or can anyone walk on by? Gah! Oh, Sally, you snuck up on me! Well, you are standing in the middle of the sidewalk. You should just go over. Those guys have really great fried tofu. Oh, um, yeah, I was, um, just deciding about that. Well, now you've got my curiosity up. What's going on? Fine, I was following Chad and Isabella. Really? Sheesh, are you that into Isabella you have to follow her around like a puppy? Ahem. <clears throat> well, I mean... Yeah, I like her a lot, but I didn't mean to follow her around. The opportunity just sort of came up. I mean, I just don't get it with her and Chad. I know what you mean. That doesn't make any sense to me either. His aura is all wrong for her. Plus, I'm pretty sure he's an Aries, and that's definitely a no-no for her. <laughs> I chuckle a bit at her astrological prowess. Well, come on. You'll never find out what they're up to just standing out here. And like I said, these guys do a great fried tofu. Eh. I shrug, grin at Sally, and follow her over to the restaurant. Once we've checked in, we grab our own seat outside. Looks like we're on the opposite side from Chad and Isabella. Seems like they haven't noticed us yet. Sally glances over at them for a moment as I look over my menu. You know, I'll be honest. I've seen the way you and Isabella look at each other, Anne. What do you mean? She's a friend, just like you are. Yeah, except that she's a friend who's a lot more into you than friends are. I guess. Just trust me. Here's all I'm saying. I don't get why she's going out with Chad, but still looking at you like a veggie dinner she's going to eat up. So I say we g give her a taste of her own medicine. She just needs to see that you're unavailable, and I bet you she starts giving you a lot more attention. Do you really think that's the kind of thing she'd notice? Oh, definitely! Here, just pretend to flirt with me. I bet you'll see her looking this way pretty quick. This almost seems like the antics you'd see in a movie. Or a soap opera. I know Isabella just teases me a lot. I guess it might be kind of cute to tease her back if I had another friend like her. Mm. I'm gonna save. I'm not... 100%. Uh, Alright, Sally. We'll try your plan. Oh, it worked! Yes! Are you sure about this? Sure, go ahead. Anything to keep you from stalking poor Isabella around the town, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, okay. I guess I'm not sure what to do. I haven't really thought about getting anybody's attention like this. No big deal. I think I know how to play this. Here, take my hand. <laughs> I reach out and take Sally's hand in my own. Suddenly, Sally rears back her head and starts laughing raucous, ro yeah, raucously, like really loudly. I try to grin, but I, like I just told a really good joke. <laughs> 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 
She reaches her other hand out and starts stroking my arm just above where we're holding hands. Oh, Sally. Don't look over there at all. Just look at me, okay? You can't look over too early or you'll spoil it. Now, let's just talk like normal for a while. We keep holding hands while the waiter brings our food. Finally, we let go to start eating our food. We talk about normal things. Occasionally, Sally laughs loudly again. I'm not being terribly funny, but she's acting really well. I try to smile and play along as well. Finally, as dinner wraps up, she tells me to take a look over at Isabella really quickly. I glance over very quickly. Luckily, Isabella is staring straight at Sally. It almost seems like she's ignoring Chad. It looks like it's working. Great, then here's the piece de resistance. Sally stretches in her chair, standing up slowly while leaning towards me. She walks quickly over to my side of the table where she grabs me and hugs me closely into her breasts. Oh, Sally! Oh, this was so much fun, Anne! We've got to do this again sometime! I try not to look surprised. Sally was certainly speaking much louder than she needed to. I'm sure half the blog heard that. I'm also trying not to look embarrassed and failing, but I guess that's not necessarily out of place for me. Okay, talk to you later! She waves goodbye to me and then walks away from the restaurant. While I'm watching Sally leave, I hear footsteps behind me. Looks like you had fun. I look for Chad. Looks like he's off paying the bill. Yeah, Sally's a nice girl. She's fun to hang out with. I'm looking forward to doing it again. Isabella looks me over like she's trying to decide if I'm lying. Maybe we can all hang out together. Isabella grins like she knows a secret and just mumbles, Maybe. Before heading back over to Chad. Once Isabella and Chad are gone, I pay my own bill and head back home. Definitely with a lot to think about. <laughs> Definitely. Gotta mull this over a little bit. Okay. It's a quiet afternoon as I head back to my room from the bathroom. I wonder if everyone else has gone somewhere. No, Mama, Miss classes von bien. Oh, I guess not. Isabella's door is open. Looks like she's putting away laundry while she talks to... her mom, I guess? That would be Mama. Las muchachos me tratan bien. Me estoy divirtiendo aquí. Si, estoy trabajando muy duro en mis estudios. Tienen un buen programa para maestros aquí. She's obviously pretty deep in conversation. I don't know what's going on, but I don't know if I should bother her. Of course, just as I'm thinking that, that's when she makes eye contact. Luckily, she smiles and waves at me. I'm still not sure if I should go in or not. Absolutely. I take it as a sign that she doesn't mind a bit of company and walk into her room. Si, sí, mi, mi título serví... Good grief. <laughs> I got a brush about my Spanish. Si, sí, mi título servirá aquí. Tendrán que dejar que trabaje. She looks up again to see that I've entered and grins almost gratefully at me. Oh, mis compañeros acaban de regresar. Ya me vi... Uh, ya me voy, mamá. <laughs> Te amo también. Suidate. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, don't worry about it, please. You saved me from speaking that awful Spanish. <laughs> Spanish isn't awful. My... Accent is terrible. I really gotta practice my grammar again. Just my mom checking up on me, making sure I'm still studying, that I didn't run away with any strange boys or strange girls. <laughs> so what's up, cutie? Oh, I was just passing by and thought I'd say hi. Not many people around this afternoon. It's true. That's why I'm doing laundry today. Easier to keep Max out of my hair while I put away my underwear. <laughs> We both snicker as she continues to put her laundry away. Suddenly, she holds up a pair of lacy, nearly see-through panties. Case in point. Ooh, I bet these will look fantastic on you. You should try them on. I promise to only leer a little. What? No way. Those are way too lacy for me. I don't think I could wear anything like that. I'd die of embarrassment. What? No way. Come on, with that cute ass in these. Oh, you could drive a girl wild. I blush at the compliment, even though I know she's teasing me. She's actually been teasing me for a while now. Hey, Isabella, can I ask you something? Why do you always tease me with this kind of sexy stuff? I'm a tease, baby. It's how I flirt. That's what I'm talking about. Teasing me like you're flirting with me. Have you not put two and two together yet, hun? I am flirting with you. I've been telling you practically since day one, girl. I think you're cute as a button. What? But... 
But you have a boyfriend. Oh, Chad's fun and all, but he's a fling. I'll stick with him while he's fun. I'm looking forward to eventually sitting down with the right person, but for now I'm just, um... I heard this once. What was it? Sowing my oats. That's it. But I mean, you have a boyfriend. Why hit on me? You really are sheltered, aren't you, girl? It's called being pansexual. I have to admit, back home we only had the one gay kid in class. Some of the parents in town were angry at him, but he always seemed so nice I could never see the point of not liking him. Still, we didn't really have the same classes, so I almost never ran into him. I did a little bit of research on the terms on the internet at the time. It was a couple of years ago, though. I thought it was gay, lesbian, or bisexual. Do you mean you're bisexual? No, Rakesh is bisexual. I'm definitely pansexual. It's like being bisexual, except that I also don't care what genitals you've got. Oh. So... So I flirt with you, you adorable thing, because I like you. Oh. Um... How long have you known? So, when did you figure out you were into both boys and girls? Well, it kind of came over me slowly. I mean, the thing is, I always thought girls were cute. I just also thought boys were cute. Growing up, I was supposed to like boys, you know. Mama used to call me her pequeña rompe corazones. Little heartbreaker. But I also liked girls. It took me until high school to figure out that I didn't actually have to choose. That I was perfectly capable of liking both. Did you have a girlfriend in high school? Yeah, but I still liked boys, and so did she. It was just kind of an experiment for her. Luckily, she was pretty upfront about it, and since it was a secret relationship, we broke up with no hard feelings. Wow, you sound like you know yourself pretty well. I'm almost a little jealous. You've... um... Well, you've definitely given me some things to... um... think about. Oh, hon, I certainly hope so, but don't worry too much about it. There's no need to stress out over it, okay? I've had a few years, yeah, but I haven't got everything figured out yet. Which is why I'm still trying to mess around and have fun while I'm here at college, you know? Yeah, I understand that. I... I think you've got a good idea, Isabella. <laughs> Thanks, cutie. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, we find out why she's been teasing us this whole time. <laughs> Finally figured that out. That's good. Now what to do with this information is the real question. Hmm. Not much in the way of events, but I mean, they were pretty significant, so there's that. 